Wonderful. Excuse me? I'm sorry. You should be. What possessed you to use such a nasty word? I can never get hands right. They're too hard. And you think they'll get easier to use that kind of language? No, ma'am. Well, don't use it. Are you trying the best you can to draw those hands like you want them? Yeah. Well, that's all you can do. Just keep trying. Hard work always pays off. Big Mama, you want to draw something? Chow, no. I ain't got time to draw no ball players. I got dinner to cook. Hey. Hey. Why didn't you tell me about what was going on? Hmm? Because every time I try to tell you about school, you say you don't want to hear it. Every day I have somebody coming up to me, teasing me about the voucher program and riding a bus to school. I try not to fight them because I don't want to go live in Hattiesburg. I'm sorry, Ahmad. All I saw was you trying to get out of going to that school. And I've been so wrapped up with the trial, Kelly and Brooke, and Kenny's business, I thought you were starting fights to piss me off. You've been doing your best. And I let myself get too busy to notice. I promise I won't let that happen again. Okay? Okay. Come on with me. Boy, I told you about bouncing that ball in this house. Hey. What's up, Franco? No, I'm surprised to see you here. Yeah, I'm surprised you're seeing me, too. Yo, Lamb! Street lights is on! What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I don't need you tracking me down like you my mama. Yeah, well, then don't give me a reason to. Come here. Look, I'm here because I love you, and I'm not trying to lose you. You ain't losing me. If you've gone back to the way you used to live, then yes, I am. Look, I ain't doing nothing illegal, all right? And I'm not stupid, Lynn. You know, when I was growing up, I knew about all my father's hangouts. This dump was one of them. Look, I spent my whole life pretending he was something I wanted him to be because I loved him. But I knew exactly what he was. I'm not gonna let that happen to Jeremiah. He is not gonna be making excuses for where you are and what you're doing and who you're doing it with to protect me from the truth. You know what, you're either gonna have to be the kind of father he deserves or risk not being in his life at all. Hey, Kenny here. Hi, baby. Hey, you all right? Yeah, I just called to tell you I miss you. Baby, I've only been gone for 45 minutes. Can't you just say you miss me, too? <sighs> all right, all right. I, I, I miss you, too. Kenny. Yeah. Do you think my titties are droopy? I, I don't know, babe, but uh, I check when I get home, all right? Kenny, I'm serious. <laughs> You have the most beautiful breasts I've ever seen. Well, how many have you seen? Maxine. OK. OK. I'll talk to you later. I love you. I love you, too. <laughs> hey, you all in my business, man. Come on. We're going to begin this morning off the record. OK. Whenever a case involves personal relationships gone wrong, the facts get lost in the raw emotions. And judging by this hearing, we got a lot of raw emotions. 
And quite frankly, I'm going to Maui tomorrow for three weeks, and I haven't packed a thing. So can we just cut to the chase? Uh, with all due respect, Your Honor, uh, we haven't finished presenting our case. And you're not going to. We're back on record. All right, perhaps Mr. Joseph was a gambler and an inept businessman. Perhaps a defendant took advantage of both those facts. What is clear is that we have facts which could support a valid contract. Therefore, this is a matter for a jury. The plaintiff's motion for summary judgment is denied. I'm holding this over for trial four weeks from today. After reviewing the facts of the case, we believe Ziotex should have opening settlement talks. Good morning. How's everything today? Great. How are you? Can I sign here? <laughs> Thanks, Vanessa. I'll see you tomorrow. You bet. Bye. Uh -huh. Then I called you three times. I gave your packages to Vanessa. For once, she was at a desk. I'm sorry. Tell me what to say. You already said it. What am I supposed to do? Introduce you to my co-worker as the delivery guy I'm sleeping with? This is really hard for me. I work here, and I'm trying to make a partner. Good luck. Damon. Hold the elevator, please. Please. Hi. Yes? I remember Big Mama saying family can hurt you more than anybody else can. Because they have a bigger place in your heart than anybody else does. Baby, can you take them? No, you're doing just fine. <clears throat> Knowing this and loving them anyway is a test of the strength God gives you. I would like to make a toast to my son. One of the three most precious gifts God and my husband have ever given me. Oh, wow. stop. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Learning to love a school you never wanted to go to is also a test of the strength God gives you. But I'm going to do my best, because hard work always pays off. I wonder why Miles is so late. I don't know. You know, I called him earlier today, but... Miles is not late. He's uninvited. <laughs> All right, then. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby, hold the baby. Go to Papa. Um, no. Max, get that. I'll get it. Thank you, baby. Don't give that baby no bread. Why? Mom, it's for you. Oh, okay. I want some red wine. Red wine? No, it's not. May I help you? I'm looking for Maxine Chadway. I was told I could find her here today. I'm Max. You're served. What? Terry? What? What is it? A civil suit. Hardy Lester is suing me for assault and battery for $400,000. What? 